step number one, we're asked to find dy dx by implicit differentiation. We have three terms here. We'll take the derivative of each term on the left side and then the one term on the right side. So the derivative of the first term would be 2x. In the second term, we will need to use the product rule. I'm going to set aside the constant of minus 2. And we're going to focus on taking the derivative of x squared times y squared. So it's the first times the derivative of the second. So we're going to use the power rule there for the second. And then any time we take the derivative of y, we must also include dy dx. Plus the second times the derivative of the first, so that would be times 2x. And then the second, or the third term, rather, would take the derivative of y squared, so that would be plus 2y, and then also including the dy dx. Then the 10, the derivative of a constant is 0. So we will simplify this. I'm going to distribute in the 2. And that will actually give us, let's multiply those two numbers together, negative 2 times 2, bring those constants to the front, and then we'll write x squared, y, and then dy dx. And then negative 2 times the second term, right here, that will be minus 4 again, x, y squared. And then we'll just bring down that third term, and then equals 0. So we want to get the dy dx terms on one side and then the non-dy dx terms to the other side. So we're going to subtract 2x from both sides and then also we're going to add 4xy squared to both sides. And we'll bring down the terms on the left. So these cancel and these cancel. write down our terms from the right side. And then on the left side we have dy dx in two separate terms. We're going to factor out the dy dx from both terms. And for the first term that leaves minus 4x squared y. And then from the second term that leaves us with plus 2y. And then the last thing that we're going to do to both sides is we're going to divide by what is being multiplied by dy dx. We want to solve for dy dx and get that by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by that binomial group. So our final answer here will be that dy dx is equal to negative 2x plus 4xy squared divided by negative 4x squared y plus 2y. For number two, we're also asked to solve by implicit differentiation. So the first term we have is y cubed. So we're going to use the product rule. We're going to bring the three down to the front. Reduce the power by one. And then we're also going to include the derivative of the inside function dy dx. So any term you take anytime you take the derivative of a term that has y in it, you will also include the dy dx. Plus, now this term does not have a y in it, so that's just going to be six x equals, and then this term has a y in it, and the derivative of 3y would be 3, and then reduce the power by 1 so the y goes away, and then we also need to include the dy dx. Now we need to bring all the dy dx terms to the same side, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3y squared dy dx from both sides. Okay, 
after we do that, this is what we have on the left and right sides. And we want to get dy dx alone, and right now it is in two terms on the right hand side, so I'm going to go ahead and factor out dy dx from the two terms that are on the right. So that will be 3 left over from the first term, and from the second term we'll have minus 3y squared. On the left side we still have 6x. And then the last thing that we're going to do is divide by what's multiplied times dy dx. So we'll divide by that group on both sides. So our final answer for dy dx will be 6x divided by 3 minus 3y squared.